Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be testing out another ColourPop palette. This one I have not seen a lot of videos on. I feel like due to the color selection it was a little underhyped and it's actually super pretty. So this is the Give It To Me Straight palette by ColourPop. And here's what the inside looks like. This one actually has shade names printed. Still no mirror, but an improvement. So this is a super neutral palette. It is so cute. Love the packaging. Uh, the unicorn comes in here. Um, so far, so good. I'm going to show you. I made this really simple. This is a neutral palette. So I just did you a quick, pretty, neutral look with it. And yeah. Let's go ahead and play our intro and then go straight into our tutorial. Okay guys, so I'm going to start with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to go into Matter of Fact, that's right here. And I'm just going to take this and put it all in the crease and a little bit onto the lid. Then with the same brush, I'm going to go into down right, that's right here, and focus this more into the crease and fluff it out to get me my first layer of pigment and get everything ready to go for this nice, pretty, neutral eye that we are doing. Then we are going to go into BS right here. I'm going to take a smaller brush for that and focus that into the crease a little lower down. Just right here to build up that color and build the look up a little bit. We're going in a warm direction, but it's cute, so that's all right. Then on that same brush, we're going to take Frank right here. This is the darkest color we're going to use, and we're just going to put this in the outer corner. I don't want to go with actually because I don't want to build the look up that heavy. So this is what we are going to go with. Okay, and then for the next part, we're gonna take straight up right here and lay this all over the lid with a flat, more packing brush to give us that metallic that we want. And I'm going to do this dry, just because I like to test my shadows out dry so that I can know how they perform, not how they perform with help. Just a personal policy when I use it in the future. If I do any tutorials, I'll definitely be wetting the shadow. But it's not horrible dry, so that is good news for this palette. Okay, so then we are going to take a little bit of BS, that same second shade we used, and we're just going to fluff that on the lower lash line, but not too crazy. And then using more of a bullet style brush. We are going to take up front right here and put that in the inner corner to give us that shimmer right there. And that is it. I'm going to finish off my face and I will be right back. Okay, so final thoughts on the Give It To Me Stripe Palette. It's definitely nice. The colors blended well. Some of the lighter colors, they didn't pull a whole lot of pigment, but they were definitely nice shadows. The shimmers showed up pretty good had I used them wet. It probably would have been even better, but for testing purposes, I used everything dry on its own to see what it was capable of 
with no outside help. So I'm definitely loving this look. It's super cute, super simple. I'm about to wear it just to go out, get some dinner, lunch, don't know what to call it, and get my nails done. And I'm definitely happy with how it turned out. But yeah, this is definitely a go for me. If you have a ton of neutral palettes, you may not want it. But it is really cute and it's only $16. So, I mean, why not, right? And they have it at Ulta so you can get those points with it. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you have any requests, leave them down in the comments. And I will see y'all in a couple of days. Bye, you guys.